actually make much use of CD-ROM, CDR, and CDRW. Basically, all of them have the same storage capacity, except that they differ from their read and write capability. CD-ROM stands for Compact Disc Read Only Memory. They are like commercially available music CDs that allows you to only listen to music or read data without altering the contents of the CD. They are used mostly for selling of music, movies, and also for distribution of software packages like Microsoft Office. CDR stands for CD Recordable that can be written on only once. These are special optical discs that typically come with no data at all in them, such that a user can choose to add whatever contents he or she may wish to. Some example applications include creating a backup of your hard disk, creating your own music CD, or saving your family album. It is same CD, but simply it has no data on it, and it helps you to burn your data or music on it. To do so, however, you will need a special CDRW read and write drive and an appropriate CD burning software. CDRW, that is, rewritable, also known as CD erasable, can be used to save data several times. The reflective layer is made up of a special coating that is not permanently altered when data is saved onto them, such that they can be erased to accommodate new data. This type of optical disk is particularly useful to save large files that need to be updated regularly. Here as well, special CDRW drive and appropriate burning software is required. DVD DVD stands for Digital Versatile Disk or Digital Video Disk. It is a popular optical disk storage media format. It is commonly used for the distribution of movies, since it offers high-capacity storage medium with good quality. DVD and CD are very similar in that both make use of light energy to read or write data on their reflective surfaces. However, the technology behind DVD allows larger amount of data to be stored compared to CD. Here as well, you will need a special DVD drive for your computer to access the data present inside a DVD. Like CDs, there are three basic types of DVDs. DVD-ROMs are commercially available DVDs for which the contents cannot be altered. For example, movies are available on DVDs. It can only read data from a DVD, but does not write. DVD-R comes initially as blank DVDs that allow the user to write only once, though any useful data he or she may wish to save. Here as well, special DVD-RW drive is required with appropriate DVD burning software. DVD-RW are very similar to CD-RW as they allow the user to save and erase the disk several times. With a decrease in cost and availability of DVD-RW drives in most computers, these high-capacity disks will surely represent a safe and efficient means of saving data. CDs and DVDs need special care in order to ensure that any data saved on them is not lost, just like floppy disks. Some guidelines are as follows. Do not expose your CD or DVD to extreme temperature as it needs to be stored in a cool dry, dark environment in which the air is clean. Store them in their casing, as any scratch makes it difficult to read through the reflective coating. Their packaging or cases will minimize the effects of environmental changes. Avoid touching the surface of the CD or DVD, as the surface can be scratched. Do not write on the reflective coating of the CD or DVD and use only recommended marker for any labeling on the label side. Clean the CD or DVD with a soft cloth in an outward direction from the center of the disc, avoiding circular movements. Remove dirt, foreign material, fingerprints, smudges, and liquids by wiping with a clean cotton fabric in a straight line from the center of the disc toward the outer edge. 
So far, we have seen three common examples of secondary storage devices. Floppy disks, hard disks, and optical disks. All of them form an integral part of all microcomputers today. They satisfy most of users' need, although in some cases, additional devices are required. Two such examples are magnetic tapes and solid-state storage devices. Magnetic tapes existed for a long time now. They are very similar to the tapes that are used in radio cassette player and video recorders and can still be found in video camcorders. Magnetic tapes provide a very effective means for backup purposes of large amount of data like 5 gigabytes. However, the main limitation is that data stored is in a sequential mode, that is, you may have to wait for several inches of tape to play before you can reach the data that is of interest to you. Consequently, access to the required data is slow. Unlike other storage devices discussed so far, solid-state storage devices have got no moving parts and data is stored and retrieved from them in a similar manner as it would be from computer memory. Solid-state storage is a non-volatile and removable storage medium. They come in different forms and sometimes under different commercial names such as USB disk, pen drives, flash disks, etc. Some manufacturers tend to market these devices by adding components such as MP3 players within the devices and so on. However, all of them work with very little power and represent a reliable device having relatively good storage capacity. Typical storage capacity ranges from 32 megabytes to 1 gigabyte. 